take some of mine. Why do I get pesto? Why do I think I'll like it? I keep trying to like it. But like I have to like it. Who said you have to like it? Everybody likes pesto. I had to say something. <laughs> I had to say something. Everything was going so well. I had to say something. I don't think you did anything I wrong. I told her I liked her. Why? Why did I tell her I like her? <laughs> I have this sick compulsion to tell women how I feel. I like you. I don't tell you. We can only thank God for that. <laughs> I'm out of the picture. I am out of the picture. <laughs> Matter of time now. You're imagining this, really? Oh, no. No, no, no. What if the pilot gets picked up and it becomes a series? That would be wonderful. George will be rich and successful. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm worried about. God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. He'll never let me be happy. I'm not stupid, okay? I'm, I'm not in love with him. I just, I like him. You like him? Yeah. You definitely like him. Well, he's not a bum. He's a rich, classy guy. Who's gonna break my heart, right? I don't know. Come on, you don't know that. Hey, he asked you, right? Maybe you guys could, like, um, you know, get a house together and, like, buy some diamonds and a horse. I don't know. Anyway, it could work. It happens. When does it happen, Kit? When does it really happen? Who does it really work out for? Did it work out for Skinny Marie or Rachel? Those no. Those were very specific cases of crackheads. I just want to know who it works out for. You give me one example of somebody that we know that it happened Name before. someone? Yeah, you want me to name someone? You want me to, like, give you a name or yeah, something? Yeah, I'd like a name. Oh, God, the pressure of a name. Cinder fucking Rella. <laughs> <laughs> You. I'm just checking things out. Are you looking for something in particular? No, well, yeah. Uh, something conservative. Yes. You got my stuff. Thank you. How much is this? I don't think this would fit you. Well, I didn't ask if it would fit. I asked how much it was. How much is this, Marie? It's very expensive. It's very expensive. Look, I got money to spend in here. I don't think we have anything for you. You're obviously in the wrong place. Please leave. Greek, right? Right. So what happens is, my dad and my uncles, they fight over who gets to eat the lamb brain. And then my Aunt Vula forks the eyeball and chases me around with it, trying to get me to eat it, because it's going to make me smart. So you have two cousins. I have 27 first cousins. Just 27 first cousins alone. And my whole family is big and loud, and everybody's in each other's lives and business all the time. Like, you never just have a minute alone just to think, because we're always together, just eating, eating, eating. The only other people we know are Greeks, because Greeks marry Greeks, to breed more Greeks, to be loud, breeding Greek eaters. Wow. I'm serious. No one in my family has ever gone out with a non-Greek before. No one. And you're, you're, oh 
which is, you know, wonderful. But I just don't see how this is going to work out. God, my hips are huge. Oh, please, I hate my calves. At least you guys can wear halters. I've got man shoulders. I used to think there was just fat and skinny. Apparently, there's a lot of things that can be wrong on your body. My hairline is so weird. My pores are huge. My nail beds suck. I have really bad breath in the morning. Ew. She broke up with you. No, but I can tell she's going to. I can sense it. We had this terrible phone conversation. I was so nervous before I called, I made up this whole list of things to talk about. Very nice, Shrek. What? I told you coming here was a bad idea. You could have at least tried to get along with my father. You know, somehow, I don't think I was going to get Daddy's blessing, even if I did want it. Well, do you think it might be nice if somebody asked me what I wanted? Sure. Do you want me to pat for you? You're unbelievable. You're behaving like a... Go on. Say it. Like an ogre. Well, here's a news flash for you. Whether your parents like it or not, I am an ogre. And guess what, princess? That's not about to change. I've made changes for you, Shrek. Think about that. I let this happen, you know. The new sports car, the getting in shape, the blonde hair, the lies. Yes, he attempts to relive the past. Now I'm losing him. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What are you talking about? Hmm? You are a girl. My God, pull oh, yourself yeah, together. Yeah. What will you do? Is, is, is this a question? You will show him you remember that he is Mr. Incredible, and you will remind him who you are. Well, you know where he is. Go, confront the problem. Fight. Win. And call me when you get back, darling. I enjoy our visits. <laughs> To you. I'm telling you, I'm scared that something terrible is going to happen to me right away. You start looking for tumors. I'm trying to help you. What are you, like a sadist? No matter how bad somebody feels, you can make them feel worse. I bet you're rooting for a tumor. Bon appétit. Oh, Mexican food. My face. Well, let's not just sit here with our tummies rumbling. Everybody dig in. Don't mind if I do, Lillian. So, I suppose any grandchildren I could expect from you would be... Ogres. Yes. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right, Harold? Oh, no! No, of course not. That is assuming you don't eat your own young. Dad! Oh, no. We usually prefer the ones who've been locked away in a tower. Shrek, please. I only did that because I love her. Oh, I... Daycare or Dragon Garden Castle? You wouldn't understand. You're not her father. <sighs> it's so nice to have the family together for dinner.